In today's video, traders, I'm going to talk to you all about breakouts, how you can trade breakouts more effectively. This is a concept that a lot of traders want to know more about, but there's not a lot of great resources out there. Let's get into breakout trading right now. Welcome back traders to another one of my videos. If you're new here, my name is Nick, also known as Trader Nick. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about breakouts, how to actually trade an effective breakout in the market. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what exactly a breakout is. I'm gonna tell you some effective ways to trade it and I'm gonna tell you how you can manage your risk on breakouts. A lot of times people come to me and they say, Nick, I like to trade breakouts, but every time I try and trade a breakout, the market reverses on me. The market doesn't continue and, and the breakout fails. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about a little bit of how you can spot some more effective breakout locations, as well as how you can manage both the winning side of, of breakouts as well as the losing side of breakouts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about, first of all, what exactly is a breakout? I'm going to pull up a sketch pad really quick and let's just talk about this. Let's talk about what exactly a breakout is so that we can get some context about what it is we're looking to trade. Very simply, a breakout is a moment in time on the chart using a price action chart, right? It's a price action concept. This is part like seven or eight of our price action course for free here on YouTube. Now, here's the thing. With a breakout, what we're looking to do is let's say that price is kind of oscillating back and forth, right? And suddenly you see we can draw this kind of trend line along the top and we can draw this trend line along the bottom, right? Well, what we're looking to do with breakouts is we're looking to catch the breakdown of a particular market structure. A lot of times when price is moving kind of in a trend, uh, let's say for the downside, right? As trending to, as it's trending to the downside, what happens is that there are points along this chart, right? Where price is showing signs of continuation. And that is really the core concept here when talking about breakout trading. We're looking to trade the continuation of a market's general direction or the continuation of a breakout or a breakdown of structure in the market that we're looking at. So with that said, let's go back to our concept right here and let's talk about exactly what we're looking for with a breakout on a channel trade like this. Well, if price starts to move to the upside, let's say, again, all along the way, we've expected price to reverse at the top here, which has been a major level of resistance. But let's say that that is not what happens here. Let's say for whatever reason, whether it's market news or just an excess of buyers, buyers push price up through that level. Now, this is huge, guys, because what this tells us is that there's a change in market sentiment. Again, when we're looking at this market along the top here, what do we notice? We noticed that sellers were stepping into this market and pushing price off of the highs. This was telling us that sellers were more uh, in control of the market up in this general area. So when price came up to this area again, again, we're not looking to trade unless this structure starts to break down because it can't channel trade like this forever. At some point, the market is gonna break out of that structure and we are gonna be here for this particular move right here. As breakout traders, the goal is to catch the market's continuation or big breaks of significant structure. We see this so frequently in the currency market, both on the high time frames, on the short time frames, right? You can trade breakouts on a weekly chart if you know what you're doing and if you're looking for the right concepts. So today I'm gonna talk to you really about two major styles of breakout trading. The first one is gonna be this concept, right? Where you have something, something that's consolidating, it's back and forth and the market hasn't really decided which overall market direction we're gonna head in. So it's just kind of chopping back and forth and then suddenly we get something like this, where the market breaks that structure, we get a breakthrough to the upside like this, and we look for a potential opportunity to join that market move. Now, one thing we want to be careful about when trading breakouts is we don't want to be chasing price. And so there is a difference between trading a calculated break of structure compared to chasing price, right? If price is going straight up like this, we don't want to be buying up at the top. At least I don't. That's not really my style. I don't want to be trying to buy this movement all the way at the top of the move. I want to look to get involved down here. I'm going to look to get involved at the structure break of a significant level in the market. And that's exactly what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is I'm going to be showing you how to identify zones of kind of high pressure buildup where the next big break could be right around the corner and how we can catch that break. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this concept. I want to just highlight some examples of on the chart here. 
of some simple breakouts. Now, what you can see is overall, we are in the context of a trending market to the upside, right? We're looking here at XAU USD. This is gold for those of you guys who do not already know. This is gold, right? And we're looking at the gold price on the four hour chart. Again, not super significant about time frame, right? We could trade breakouts on any time frame, uh, but looking right here on the four hour chart. And what you can see is as price is making its way up, we are trending, we are continuing along this trend line here. But what we're looking to do is we're looking to catch the break of a particular trade, right? So for example, when we look at something like this, when we look at this structural zone of resistance here, right? Uh, just as we had talked about, we can see breakouts in uptrends, we can see them in downtrends, we can see them in sideways trends. We're simply looking for a major structural level to get broken, right? And what you can see here is this level here was actually a major level of resistance, right? Because price sold off as price came into that area. So buyers pushed price up and into this area, sellers got strong and they pushed price back down. Okay, no big deal. We did not have any sort of trade set up particularly here. Um, unless you go back further, which maybe we'll look at in a second. So again, price came into this area, sold off, and price came into this area again and sold off. What this does for us guys is it sets up the context for a very strong potential for a breakout to the upside. Now I'm gonna show you two really ways that you can trade this particular style. And one of them is going to be, okay, of course, we've understood the context of this uptrend, right? Buyers are stepping in and pushing price up. So we do have that longer term pressure to the upside. And this is where breakout trading, a lot of breakout traders go wrong is they don't look for something that has a lot of momentum. As a breakout trader, we are looking to aggressively join the market at a smart kind of calculated level where we see that there's a good chance that momentum is gonna to continue to push price in our direction, right? So as price got rejected at this level here, as well as this level here, as we saw price sell off at those levels, this is where we have kind of the spring concept that I talked about on the channel loading up, right? Price is starting to get kind of tight in this area, right? As price is kind of being sold off at these top levels and bought into as price pushes up, this is creating some pressure and price is likely going to explode one way or the next. And if you're trading with the trend, there's a good chance that that trend may continue. And this is exactly where we can get look to get long guys. And this is what's gonna happen is, right? We have this sell pressure zone and as price breaks through that level, this is a big indication that price is ready to continue to go up, right? Not every single time, there's no such thing as a perfect price action signal, but what we can see here is price closed above this significant level of resistance. And this is gonna be our first sign, guys, of a potential continuation to the long side, right? Look how price was sold off immediately here and here, right? Sellers stepped in and very quickly pushed that price down. They were not able to close above, right? Buyers were not able to close above this significant level. But here is where things get interesting. On this big green candle here, we actually saw a close above the level of resistance that we had highlighted. Remember when we talked about breakouts, we talked about broken structure. This structure here, this level of resistance has been broken. And what we can see here, guys, is that price continued to go up as the trend continued. Now, it didn't go up like tremendously, but you can catch the point here, right? When buyers stepped in and, and continued this market up, right? When we saw this big break above and we saw that close above, buyers ended up continuing that price for some time. Uh, you know, you can see we continued the trend to the next leg higher. Now, of course, price overall did come back down to the downside, but for the time being, this trade right here could have been a beautiful entry to get involved. Now, how would we have actually traded this concept? And this, this is just, you know, kind of up to your own interpretation because there are different ways to trade breakouts. Of course, you could potentially trade and get long right here, right? On the close of that bar, that's one opportunity that some traders will do, but I like to actually wait for the retest of a significant break, right? Sometimes people wanna trade right into that, and that's of course up to you and how you like to trade. I'm not quite that aggressive in my own trading. I'll tell you how I like to trade it. I like to highlight a significant level like this one, right? A significant pressure zone where price is kind of getting uh, consolidated. It's getting, it's getting tight and, and pressure is building up. And when that price breaks, I like to get long on a retest, right? And that's exactly what we could have seen here. Now, of course, I am looking at this chart in hindsight bias, so I know what happened to the price already, but here is how, this is one of my strategies. This is how I like to approach a trade like this. I like to get involved right around a pullback of a significant structure. So let's say that this is my entry, right? We look to enter right here, 
right? And what I'll do is I'll usually target some sort of structure. So we, we could have seen that here was a good potential level for a take profit, right? That recent high. And in this case, I'm curious, we might have even gotten stopped. Let's say that we did a two to one. I'm going to take this. This is my handy dandy way of doing this. And I promise I'm not, I'm trying not to be biased, but we did get out of this trade or we did get out of this trade for a take profit here as price did continue in the overall direction to the upside. Now, of course, it was pretty close. And in a lot of cases, you will get stopped out. I don't want to tell you that trading is easy and that there's some sort of perfect entry. But in this case, this would have been, in my opinion, a beautiful entry to the long side. Of course, if I'm using a two to one, maybe we even get got stopped out. Again, I use my fingers to judge just because I'm trying to be quick here. So I do apologize. It's not perfect. We may have gotten stopped out. And even if we did, it doesn't matter because the overall context of this trade is that we're looking for a break of structure, a retest to get involved and to ride that momentum as it gives us a second chance, right? And not always are you going to see that. Sometimes you're going to see the market break and just keep going, right? A lot of times we do see that. We see a major structure break and price just shoots off and rockets away without us. And as a breakout trader, um, you know, there's two ways to do it. There's the really aggressive way, which is to get involved right on the break of structure. And then there's the little bit more conservative way where we look for some sort of retest and the counterpart or the the trade-off there is that if you wait for a retest sometimes you don't get it before the ship leaves the station right so kind of up to you how you trade that but let me show you another example of breakout trading because breakout trading is bigger than just trend continuation it actually can be a beautiful way to trade the reversal of a trend at a calculated level now, in this particular example, I want to show you a trend line breakout. Now, this is something that I've talked about on my channel quite a bit because I love, love, love this particular trade. Let me set up the scene here a little bit further with you guys. So we just talked about a breakout trade to the long side, but let's notice something about this particular trend. I know you can't see this because this is behind my screen, but uh, or behind my camera. But what you can see is that there is a level down there where price got bought up. And you can see that we, again, bought up this level. We bought up this level, we bought up this level, and you can see that price changed directions right here. And so what I want to highlight with you guys here is that notice how price was again in a very strong uptrend, right? Price is getting bought up. Price is getting pushed to the long side. Every opportunity that buyers had to buy into this market, they were buying so without question, right? It was very apparent as this market continued to the upside that there were buyers involved, right? Buyers were stepping in along these minor pullbacks just to continue to buy this market up. And again, that's a great opportunity for trend continuation breakouts. For example, I didn't mention this one earlier, but this concept right here, that would have been a beautiful breakout trade. We had some upside there to ride that potential momentum, if that's your style, right? If you're waiting for the close, this actually Actually, technically would have been a potential entry, right? You close on this level, you get involved right there and you continue for as much as you can. Some ways are to trail your stops. Other ways are to set a hard stop below structure. There's different ways to set your stops and take profits. Again, up to you and how you like to trade. Different people have different styles. There's not one way of trading that is necessarily right. So with that said, the next thing that I want to talk about with you guys though, is that notice how when price came back to this level here, right? This is where we see a change in market concepts, right? Because again, we were in the context of a very strong uptrend. And when this started to change right around here, we started to see a real sell-off as buyers realized that there is no longer buy pressure in this market. And that is where we really can jump on board as breakout traders to potentially ride that momentum to the downside. And let me show you exactly how you could look to do that. So again, I mentioned that we had this context. Remember when going back to the very beginning of this video, context is key with breakouts. We're looking for structure to get broken so that we can ride that change in market sentiment. And in this level right here, what do you notice about this? Well, I hope that you notice that we do see a price close underneath that major trend line, right? This is huge because this tells us that, hey, buyers are no longer buying up this market to hold it above that trend line. That is a huge potential indication that buyers are going to step in and continue this market. You can see they did try to, they pushed off this candle, right? They pushed that market off of that low, but then we failed and we saw buyers kind of failing out here. We saw a, uh, in fact, even if you know what this is, an inverted head and shoulders, 
right? So we saw a head. Well, actually, no, this is just a head and shoulders, not an inverted, right? There's our left shoulder. There's our head. There's our right shoulder. And we saw this kind of structure come into play, right? This start to a downtrend where we broke through that trend line support. We closed underneath, and this is where we can get we can get some interesting opportunities. Okay, so this is one way to trade this style. Of course, if we waited for a retest of this level, in this case, we would not have gotten it, right? If we waited for price to come back up here, look for a potential re-entry and go short, that would not have happened. We would have missed the train. So, of course, that's going to happen too. As a trader, as a breakout trader especially, sometimes you're going to have to watch something run away without you. And that's just part of the game, right? Understanding that as a trader is very, very important, that you're not going to win them all and that you're going to take stop losses and that you're going to, you know, miss good trading opportunities just because you shouldn't tweak your strategy just because you miss a trade. You should tweak your strategy if you see, you know, evidence or signs that it's just, you know, it would be better to trade something differently. And again, that comes with back testing, time, studying, you know, work and effort, all the things that people don't really want to do. But if you're still watching this video, I appreciate it because you've made it a lot further than most. So let's go ahead and continue with this concept right here. So we do see that market structure has been broken. This is our first bearish potential setup where we may see some continuation to the downside. Of course, we already know what's going to happen, but I'm trying to kind of evaluate or, or kind of talk about this concept here so that we can get a better understanding looking forward so that we don't just do this in the past, but we can do this in the future. When price breaks underneath, an aggressive breakout tra uh, trader would have had a nice little trade. Let me tell you how you could have potentially set this up. Let's say that you enter on the close underneath that major structure. That means that we would have gotten entered right here. So this is our entry, okay? And so this is where we would have gotten involved in the trade. Now there's two styles that I really like when it comes to putting your stop loss, putting your take profit with a particular breakout trade. One way to do it is just to use some sort of two to one, or you can use structure. For example, in this case, we have major structure right around this area, okay? That is one particular example. So you could have set your take profit right around here. Another way you could have identified this structure, right? Of course, this is hindsight. So personally, I probably would have looked at this structure as a potential target, and I would have potentially used a stop just above that recent structure high right? Maybe something like a 1.5 to one. So not the best risk to reward there. Of course, there are other styles that you could have done, right? You could have just put your stop loss two to one, right? That's an opportunity as well. Something to play around with. Another way to do it is to potentially look to trail your stop, right? So instead of having a target, you just put your structural stop loss right here, right? So let's say that you put a stop loss above the high and then as price goes into your favor, right? So let's say as we, as we progress, let's say that every 10 pips or so we move our stop loss. So initially we we trade back to break even and then we slowly kind of move price into a profit until it hits us on our stop loss, which may have been something like this. Right, of course, something to think about with breakouts. But I want you guys to understand with this concept about breakout is not that I'm giving you some sort of perfect entry, stop loss, take profit. That's not what I'm doing here. What I'm telling you is that in this entire breakout course, or I'm sorry, price action course, the goal is to teach you kind of how to read price as a story. And this really should be a story to you, right? Each particular move in the market is unique. There's no perfectly similar you know, move in the market. And that's why trading price action is not as easy as just putting a take profit and putting a stop loss. It requires a little bit more work than that. And so when we're looking at this price action kind of story that we see right here, again, you're going to have to play around with your own strategies and seeing how you kind of interact with particular strategies on the chart. Guys, I hope you got something out of this breakout video. Make sure you uh, check out the rest of this playlist full of price action stuff for free, and we'll catch you on the next video.